today we are going to discuss about the role of prp that is platelet rich plasma and other medications after hair transplant we all know that hair transplant is based upon the theory of donor dominance that means the hair which is on the back side are resistant to the male hormone and they are not affected by the baldness and when these hair are transferred to the front they are going to behave the same that means they are going to grow there and not being affected by the male hormone forever but we get some patients who ask about how many prp sessions they need what are the medications they have to continue after the transplant and they also ask like how many prp sessions are going to be included free in my transplantation cost so all these things they puzzle us because the science is different as i said the hair they don't need anything after the transplantation for maintenance or you know initial growth so in our practice we never ever ask the patient that he has to come again and again to prp therapy or he has to go for the medication for maintenance if truly permanent roots have been transferred from the back then they should grow of their own and they should sustain you know of their own for rest of their life so here I, one thing i want to add that if you have got some pre existing hair before a transplant on the recipient area then to preserve them from getting bald you have to go for medications like the best medicine which uh, really prevents the hair fall in baldness is finasteride and other one is minoxidil these are the two only medications which help in preventing you should go for that to preserve them and prp sometimes helps in preventing uh, you know those hair loss in baldness and sometimes not you cannot pin your faith on prp therapy alone there has been no studies which say that prp is going to be uh, really helpful and prp only can you know prevent the uh, hair, hair loss in baldness it has already been used along with finasteride and minoxidil so to summarize after a hair transplant there is no need of finasteride minoxidil or prp for the initial growth or the maintenance of the growth or the sustenance of the growth of the transplanted hair forever thank you